What's up, guys? Breach here, and I am bringing you Take Four at the Legend of at Let's Play the Legend of Zelda. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a rough little recording session here. Take one was laggy as hell, and I I, I couldn't justify putting it out there. But uh, take two got the audio off, and I could not get it to sync for some reason. And take three, I lost the video on. So we're we're on take four here, and we are going to go sequence break. We're going with the third dungeon instead of the second, because why not? We can. Nothing telling us we can't. No, uh, no invisible plot walls in the way. Nothing. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna wreck shop, and uh, we're gonna have ourselves a good time. I uh, also noticed I used the F word a lot in that first video and throughout the other two takes or three takes of uh, this. So I'm gonna try and cut back on that. I, I uh, I'm, I'm a grad student. My vocabulary is better than that. I shouldn't have to resort to using that. It's just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a real person, so sometimes I don't think before I speak, and it just comes out. But uh, here we are, just just wrecking these bastards. And uh, more moblins. Let's go pick up some bombs. I actually had to, uh, I have no bombs and fewer and more rupees because I actually had to restart this from the beginning each single time that I did this. So it's a good thing I like this game. I love it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to uh, say there other than it's a hell of a game. I enjoy it. I've been playing it for years. But uh, I, that's another thing that I noticed. I uh, Whenever I pause, I say but or uh. It's one of the things that when other people do it, it really bothers me, and I make an effort not to, but sometimes it slips in there. So, please, uh, please just let it slide if you notice it a lot. I'm gonna try not to say it, be conscious about it. Almost said it again there. It's one of those just gap filler words people use whenever they can't think of anything better to say. It, uh, there we go again. I'm not going to bother fighting these guys, but I am going to go left here, because that's going to... Is it? Oh shit, I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, this is going to this is gonna lead us to where we need to be. That's unnecessary damage. I don't like taking unnecessary hits. It's stupid, and uh, it makes it more difficult. Like that right there. Now, I could try and take these guys out with bombs, but... If you guys have watched H.C. Bailey's Let's Play of this, he, uh, he explains bombs are pretty erratic in their damage on these guys. And the best way to take on the Dark Nuts is just come at them from the back or the sides. They walk in straight lines on the tiles, so you're going to be able to see which way they're going. If you can catch them before they hit a new tile, I guarantee you can catch them before they're going to turn on you, and you can get a free hit on them. Those take two with the White Sword. The Blue Brothers take, like, three, maybe even four with a white sword, but before long, we're going to be getting an upgrade to this, and screw that, I don't, I don't want to deal with that many of them at once. I think that many carrots, that many sprites on the screen is why it lagged out the first time I played through this. So, it's been a long day on top of the recordings failing. Um, I'm a cashier at a grocery store, I, I'm doing that to pay the bills while I'm in grad school here, and I had, had a little bit of fun with it today. We're, uh, we're at one of those grocery stores where the counter doesn't really separate the customer from the cashier. So they have full range to just kind of fuck with you. They're right there with you the whole time. You can try fucking with their food, but they catch you every fucking time. That's good old John Cap. Oh, damn it, Billy. That's, uh, that's my name, Billy. If I ever slip up and don't call myself Breach, that's, that's why. It's because that's, that's my name. But, uh, there, there I go again. Anyways, I had this really just obnoxious little kid, and it, it pisses me off when people won't parent their kids. And I'm probably gonna die here, won't I? There we go, that's, that's what I needed to happen. You want to try and get all four arms in the blast. It's hard to do, but it's possible. I did a good job of it on the second take, but I couldn't justify putting that piece of crap out there. Anyways, this uh, this little kid just kept running up and trying to mess with my register. And so, I felt justice needed to be served right there. And 
I'd been standing there all day. I had one building up, and I just, I just let an ass blast just go right in this little kid's face. And I felt bad about it, but then I thought, you know, this kid's fucking with me. His parents aren't stopping him from doing it. So it's it's a justice fart, and sometimes you gotta let let loose a justice rip. So we could go to Dungeon Four right now. But, there's something I want to do before that, because it makes it a lot easier to see in there, and some of the rooms are dark. Spo spoiler alert, if you haven't played, some of the rooms are dark. I always like to go get the candle first, which is in turn going to help us pick up something else before we go in, which will help keep us alive. If, uh, if you can't figure out what that means, it's in another hard container that we're going to grab before we even go in there. I, uh, I waited until afterwards last time. Oh, pressing the wrong key. Yeah, I waited until afterwards on the last two takes, and I ended up dying in there, and I don't like making you guys watch me die. This is a let's play, not a let's sit and watch respawn screens. If this was Call of Duty, you guys could watch me die all day. Right? I don't play Call of Duty anymore, that broken piece of crap Modern Warfare 3. If you... I, uh, I'm, I'm big into online first-person shooters, so you can scroll through a lot of my Call of Duty clips there, and I actually have one explaining the exact game where I said, fuck it, for lack of... I know I said I'm not going to say that, but that's, that's how mad I was. I said, fuck it, I'm selling Modern Warfare 3, and I'm picking up Battlefield 3, and I've been happy since, but... I repeatedly in Modern Warfare 3, I got spawn killed by damn care packages. And we have a key, we don't need to go left there, so we're gonna go straight up. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna get what we need, and we're gonna get the hell out. Because I don't like this place. This is my least favorite of the dungeons. The boss is cool, but it doesn't go much beyond that. Just him being kinda cool. And you get to see him again, so we're gonna rush through his ass. And we're just going to take names. We're going to take names, we're going to kick ass, we're going to be fucking awesome. There we go, we're going to switch back to the, uh, oh, wait. Just jump right through the boomerang, why don't you? I'm not even going to mess with those guys. I took way too many unnecessary hits the first time through. And, oh, we can't get through here. Oh, I could, I could light up the room for you. I, I could at least do that. Now, if that guy walks in the fire, you'll see what happens when you hit him with a wooden sword. They split into dots. Because fire does as much damage as a wooden sword, except it sits there so they can get hit by it repeatedly. But when they turn into dots, they don't drop any items for you. So, more unnecessary damage. We're, we're not even going to waste time trying to clear the rooms. We're, we're getting in here, we're getting what we need, and we're getting the fuck out of dodge. He was going to go all the way. <laughs> yeah. You always think they're going to go all the way, but then they stop. That, yeah, that's right, because they can't, they can't be pushed over water. In this room, we have more of those blob guys, and we have Like Likes. Like Likes is the worst name for these enemies, because there's nothing about them to like even once, much less twice. They're the guys that hop onto you and they steal your shield and they piss you off. And they waste your time, they waste your money. And those bubbles, if they hit you, you can't swing your sword. That's why I backed off of the first one there. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna get the stepladder. That's gonna help us to get over the water that was in our way in that one room. I think I lit it up. If not, I'm definitely lighting it up on the way back. My bad, I I know these rooms pretty well by now after four times straight going through them just sitting here. I, I have most of the maps memorized from when I was a little kid playing this game, but that only goes so far. We're not... Oop. Unnecessary damage. Let's, uh, let's get our candle out and I'll show you why we went this way in this room. And good, there's only one on that side this time. We're going to switch back to our boomerang as quick as we can here so we can stun him and just get by and not have to deal with him. Because I'm, I'm fed up with bullshit right now and I don't need any more from blue bouncing bastards. So we're going to hop over here into this dark room. We're going to kill the dot. Candle it off. Why not? It's With the blue candle, you get 
one burn per screen. There's another candle later on that lets you use it infinitely, but you don't get that until much later, and there's really not a point, because the fire doesn't really damage them that much, so you're better off just hitting them with your shield, or with your sword, or your bombs. Rupees in, in the eye of the snake here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk fast so I can get through this recording, hopefully get through this boss in this episode. Ah, this is already going to be a little bit longer than the first, but you know what, it's okay, there's not time limits anymore, I don't think. And if there are, then... It's whatever. I'm a little disappointed, and in my previous recording, I went through this entire room without taking a single hit. And actually took out all these bats relatively quickly. But that's life, you know. Now we're going into this room, deal with this boss. He's a two-headed dragon called Gliok. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this sea pattern here. And then we're going to stab, we're going to run over here, stab, sea pattern, stab. Knifey, knifey, knife goes in, guts come out, head comes off, starts shooting fireballs at you across the room. And that's actually the best I've done against him in a while. I didn't take a single hit there. So that's, that's just how much practice I've gotten at that room. Anyways, we're going to stop the recording there, and we will see you next time when we will go grind rupees, get some items, and have...